into money, literally. That was the family name. They were English <laughs> from Southampton, the city that launched the Titanic. I first became aware of his name in print. It was a letter addressed to Mr. Money. I thought it was a joke. Mr. Money was a penny-pinching fiscal neurotic who had a lot of anxiety about money. He was always very concerned that everything be 50-50, and so for nearly 20 years of marriage, we had separate bank accounts. I met Mr. Money in Ireland at Monroe's Tavern in Galway City, across the street from the Archview Hostel. He played guitar in a blues band. I asked if I could get up and sing. The front man said yes. Mr. Money said no. The front man won. I was small, quiet, and unassuming until I hit the stage. I stood in front of that packed pub, tapped out the tempo to the band, and sang Wild Women Don't Have the Blues by Ida Cox. I've got a disposition and a way of my own. When my man starts kicking, I let him find another home. I tore it up, brought the house down, standing ovation. They never saw it coming, including Mr. Money. I walked up the stage and straight out the door. It was a dramatic exit. I was really just tired and I wanted to get to bed. The next morning, Mr. Money came looking for me. He wanted to start a new blues band. I wanted to sing Irish music, but I went with it. A gig's a gig, and it beat working at the hostel. The Irish love the blues, and a pub owner picked the name, the Honorary Blues Band. Mr. Money was very pretty, a delicate Mick Jagger in a gray leather jacket. We brought out the worst in each other and fought from day one. One night, we had a situation that required morning after medication. He said he would pay for half. It had to be 50-50. The drug was nauseating, his stance infuriating. I flew into a rage, and that set the stage for the tone of our relationship. We got pregnant later. It was a mutual, intentional accident. He wanted to be a father. I wanted to be a mother. We both wanted to play music. We thought we'd make a go of it. So, Mr. Money and me were married in the last trimester, splitting the cost of the license 50-50. The money in-laws came over. They referred, <laughs> they referred to England as the mainland. They made my Irish root shudder. I made their stiff upper lips quiver. I kept my name Finnegan, and we all kept our distance. Mr. Money and I moved to New York City and raised our baby. Our first neighborhood was Bay Ridge in Brooklyn, where I waited tables at a diner. While Mr. Money lived off his separate savings, I saved receipts for household, household items to prove I was pulling my weight 50-50. We won a housing lottery and moved to Chelsea. Our baby went to elementary school, middle school, and high school. Then our baby went to college, and the apartment was empty. Just me and Mr. Money living 50-50. It turns out that two halves do not a whole make. The divorce was uncontested. It cost $500. That was 250 each. Wow.